Uh, everybody for joining the program today. So inshallah, this is uh, second last of its uh, continuation inshallah. Um, so we have uh, brother Shahid Rafiq, vice president of ICNA research and development. Uh, I would request Shahid Bayt inshallah take over. Auz billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa ma utitum min al ilmi illa qalila. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqa wa qali. Allahum arina al haqqa haqqam wa rizukna tibaa wa arina al batila batilam wa rizukna ishtinaba. Ameen ya rabbul alameen. Inshallah today uh, in very brief presentation I would like to highlight few points about dua. What should we ask and how should we ask? One thing we have to understand, there are two parts. One is the legal aspect, kanun, fiqh of dua. And the second one is adab of dua. In fiqh of dua, you know, what should we ask? We can ask anything, whether Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cares about it or not. And there are things that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes. For example, we can ask anything about related to this dunya that Allah may doesn't like or Allah doesn't care and he either grants you or he rejects your dua. But there are duas which Allah likes the most and those duas are about maghfira, success of the life of hereafter, you know, the final destination. So those are the dua. That's why the people of zikr, what they do even when they have to ask anything of this dunya, they connect their dua with ultimate success of akhira. For example, dua of Hazrat Zakaria alayhi salam. When he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him offspring, he is making this point that grant me child so he can protect, protect the miras of Ibrahim alayhi salam. The miras that he will be the flag bearer of Tawheed. Uh, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second prerequisite of adab of dua before I go in specifics of what should we ask in last end of 10 days of uh, uh, Ramadan. First, present what Allah has given you. If you want to become mustajab uh, dawat that your dua will be granted whatever Little Allah has given you, you present that in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then when you raise your hands for dua, then you can say that, Ya Allah, whatever adna, little, inferior, from your perspective that you had given me, I have presented to you. And now I'm seeking your help for this, this, this. The third thing which comes in adab of dua is that always start dua with hamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because whenever you ask something, there is a shaiba. There is a doubt that you may be complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about that part of your dua. For example, you ask for dunya. So there is a shaiba that you may be complaining that Allah has not given you part of that dunya. When you do first hamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shukr about everything Allah has given you, and then you proceed for your needs, that basically shows this thing that you are not complaining uh, about anything. So adab, adab of dua, there is another thing, my brothers uh, and, and my sisters, when you start dua, start with hamd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and part of hamd is that you say durood to Prophet Sallallahu Because this is part of shukr that you acknowledge that the greatest blessing that Allah has granted you in this dunya is this deen, this iman. And the one who is mohsin, that who is your murabbi, who is your murshid, who is your leader, that he is the reason that you are Muslim today, you acknowledge and appreciate and you send durood to him, Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The third thing which you can do to make your dua heavy is that present your good deeds. For example, what we are going to ask in last two days of Ramadan, 
present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what good you have done in this Ramadan, that you have exhausted yourself. You are standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when your body was demanding to go home and rest. But you pushed yourself, even though you had a desire to go rest, you had desire to do many other things, but you stop yourself, present your good deeds in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a vasta for your dua. You know, I'm going to share with you two beautiful duas which Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa has, you know, taught us. The first dua you all know, Allahumma inna ka afoon tuhibbu al-afwa faafu anni or faafu anna. This dua here Prophet sallallahu did not say Allahumma inna ka ghafoor because ghafoor, ghafar, mighfar means just cover. Covering something does not mean that forgiveness is granted. Covering something does not mean that you will not be accountable for that on the day of judgment. But when you use the word, you know, Allahumma inna afuun, afuun has in itself not only forgive me, but remove that sin, remove that error, remove that deficiency from my slate. So remove any, anything which can point towards that error. Remove all the ink, keep it, make it clean. The second dua, which really is the most beautiful dua, you know, purpose of Ramadan is getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, getting maghfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can only happen that you have attained maghfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first dua is for maghfirah and second dua is to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allahumma jali indaka walija wa jali indaka zulfa wa husna ma'ab. What a beautiful dua. Allahumma jali indaka walija. Walija is, this is the word used in Surah Tawbah, ayah number 16. Walija is somebody who visits somebody very often and frequently and freely. Ghar mein kisi ka ana jana ho. Bagher takalluf ke ana jana ho, and he becomes the safekeeper. He becomes the razda of that house. He goes in this house so frequently that he becomes part of that house. Wali jah. What a beautiful word Prophet Sallallahu has used here. Allahumma jaali in the ka wali jah. Wa jaali in the ka zulfa. Zulf, you know, which is very close to our face, and make me. Closer to you, Ya Rabbul Alameen, wa husna ma'ab. And my final destiny, I request to Ya Rabbul Alameen, grant me the best of the ending of this life. So when I depart from this dunya, that you are Razi with me. And when these angels, they receive my soul, they say to me, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbi kiradiyatam mardiya. Fadkhuli fi ibadi, Fadkhuli jannati. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He grant us tawfiq that really we can take advantage of these last hours of Ramadan. And we will be loser that if we have done all of this in Ramadan and we don't get maghfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this famous hadith says, Amin to Jibreel alayhi salam about somebody who has received Ramadan lived through Ramadan, but he was not able to succeed in getting the maghfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Al Prophet sallallahu says, Jarrah Jibrail cursed that person. And Prophet said, Ameen to that. May Allah protect us from that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us, you know, every tawfiq that we can live through these last hours of Ramadan and we can get the ultimate success. Ultimate success is maghfirah. Ultimate success is pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ultimate success is my Rabb is happy with me. Rabbana atina fit dunya hasanatam fil akhirati hasanatam wa qina zaban nar. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al-lazina anamta alayhim. Ghayri al-maghdubi alayhim waladdualeen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama sallayta ala Ibrahima wa ala ala Ibrahima inna ka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama barakta ala Ibrahima wa ala ala Ibrahima inna ka hamidun majid. 
ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب رب اغفر ورحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فافو أني اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فافو أنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فافو أنا اللهم اجعل لي عندك وليجا وجعل لي عندك زلفا وحسن معاب اللهم اجعل لي عندك وليجا وجعل لي عندك زلفا وحسن معاب اللهم اجعل لي عندك وليجا وجعل لي عندك زلفا وحسن معاب يا رب العالمين we pray to you يا رب العالمين whatever little we have done in this ramadan يا الله accept us accept our efforts accept our deeds whatever deficiencies that we have you know caused in our uh, ibadat in our zikr you know in fulfilling our the requirements of ramadan ya allah forgive you know our shortcomings ya rabbul alamin we also pray for brother uh, brother of uh, sheikh abdur rahman may allah subhanahu wa taala grant him the highest place in jannah may allah subhanahu wa taala make it easy for him in the in the in the stages you know coming to, towards him may allah subhanahu wa taala make his grave one of the garden of jannah may allah subhanahu wa taala all our diseased brothers and sisters who passed away and they have done you know their their all their life for the cause of allah subhanahu wa taala we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala to grant them highest place in jannah and give them the sakina the sakina of the people of success ya rabbul alamin whatever efforts we are doing for your deen give us the sincerity give us the heart that we can do it but just for the pleasure that pleasure of allah pleasure your pleasure ya rabbul alamin give us tawfiq ya rabbul alamin that we can do whatever energy you have given us that we can use that energy in your path ya rabbul alamin mai allah se dua karta hu ki ya allah ہم بڑے نامراد ہوں گے ناکام ہوں گے یا اللہ اگر رمضان کے آخری دنوں میں ہم نے جو ایام گزارے جو راتیں تیرے سامنے کھڑے ہو کر گزاری یا اللہ ہمارے جسم نے ہم سے ڈیمانڈ کی لیکن ہم نے اسے رد کیا تیری خاطر یا اللہ ہم بڑے نامراد اور ناکام ہوں گے کہ اگر ہم تیری مغفرت کو حاصل نہ کر سکیں یا اللہ ہم نے جو ٹوٹی پوٹی کوشش کی ہم کمزور لوگ ہیں ہم گناہ گار لوگ ہیں یا رب العالمین ہماری کمزوریوں سے درگزر فرما ہمارے گناہوں کو بخش دے ہمیں معاف کر دے ہماری مغفرت فرما دے تو ہم سے راضی ہو جا یا اللہ ہم دنیا میں جو چاہتے ہیں یا اللہ وہ صرف اس لیے چاہتے ہیں کہ اس دنیا کے ذریعے ہم تیری رضا کو حاصل کر سکیں ہم جو توانائی حاصل کرنا چاہتے ہیں جو سکون حاصل کرنا چاہتے ہیں یا اللہ وہ سب بھی ہم اس لیے حاصل کرنا چاہتے ہیں کہ اس کے ذریعے ہم دین کے کام کو بھرپور انداز میں کر سکیں یا اللہ ہماری دعاؤں کو قبول فرما لے یا اللہ ہماری کوششوں میں برکت نصیب فرما دے یا اللہ ہمیں اپنے راستے کے اندر قبول فرما لے یا رب العالمین ہم جب دنیا سے جائیں یا اللہ تو ہم سے راضی ہو جائے یا اللہ وہی ہماری بڑی کامیابی ہے یا اللہ جب فرشتے ہماری روحوں کو قبض کریں تو وہ ہم سے یہ کہیں نہن اولیاء کم فی الحیات دنیا و فی الآخرہ یا اللہ یہ وہ آخری جملے ہیں کہ جو ہم فرشتوں کی زبان سے سننا چاہتے ہیں وہ صلی اللہ تعالی على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين برحمتك يا رحمة الله جزاك الله خير شاهد بي for a wonderful reminder and the dua so inshallah uh, tomorrow will be the last day of our uh, this uh, series inshallah and our Amir brother uh, Mohsin Ansari inshallah will conduct it and uh, the topic will revolve around you know summon summing this these the series up inshallah so inshallah we'll see you again tomorrow 7:15 sharp jazakallah khair jazak uh, and once again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum